Ever been in a car that feels like it's shaking itself apart? Ever wondered why that happens? Welcome to the fascinating world of engine vibrations. It's a normal occurrence for engines to vibrate as they function thanks to the constant rotation and movement of their heavy internal parts. Now, the extent of these vibrations can vary, depending on a few factors. This might include the engine's configuration like whether it's inline, V-shaped, or of the opposition kind. The number of cylinders and even the type of fuel used can also make a difference. For example, diesel engines are often more vibration-prone than their gasoline counterparts due to their hard combustion process and high cylinder pressure. But when the vibrations become excessive, that's when it's time to start worrying. It could be signaling an underlying issue. Today we will discuss 10 common causes of engine vibration, so you can understand what might be going wrong. First on our list of engine vibration causes is an IAC idle air control valve malfunction. The idle air control valve is a critical component of your engine, responsible for maintaining stable revolutions per minute, or RPMs. Simply put, it ensures your engine keeps ticking over smoothly at a constant speed when you're not accelerating. Now, what happens when this valve malfunctions? The answer lies in the symptoms. A faulty idle valve can lead to unstable idle speeds and noticeable dips in your RPMs. You might see the needle on your tachometer dropping to 500 to 700 RPMs, at which point your engine can't maintain its smooth operation. This instability results in the vibrations you're experiencing. Inside this valve, there's an air channel and a needle valve, both of which can get clogged up with soot and dust. This hinders their operation, leading to the valve's failure. If cleaning the idle valve doesn't help stabilize your idle speeds, it might be time to consider a replacement. Let's now dive into the second cause of engine vibration, a clogged air filter. The air filter is a consumable item that should be changed regularly. The frequency of replacement depends on the conditions in which the car is used. It's a key component ensuring the normal flow of air into the intake tract of your engine. A dirty or clogged air filter can interfere with this flow, leading to an imbalance in the air-fuel mixture, which in turn causes your engine to run unevenly and vibrate. To diagnose this, you could temporarily remove the air filter from the housing and let the car idle. If the vibrations disappear, it indicates that the removed filter is dirty and should be replaced. If nothing changes, the problem lies elsewhere. Remember, maintaining a clean air filter is essential for a smooth running engine. It's one of the simplest and most cost-effective ways to prevent engine vibrations. So, don't overlook this important component when troubleshooting your engine vibration issues. Next on our list of potential causes for engine vibration are dirty fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are a crucial part of your engine's fuel system. Spraying fuel into the engine cylinders in a fine mist to create the perfect air-fuel mixture for combustion. However, fuel injectors can become dirty and clogged over time, especially if the quality of the fuel used is subpar. When this happens, two key problems arise. Firstly, the clogged injectors can't spray the correct amount of fuel into the cylinders. This means your engine isn't getting the fuel it needs to run smoothly. Secondly, the quality of the fuel atomization, that is, the process of turning the fuel into a fine mist, is compromised. This results in an incorrect fuel-air mixture that can ignite unpredictably. These two issues can cause your engine to trot or run unevenly, which results in an imbalance of its moving parts and consequently engine vibrations. It's worth noting that these vibrations can occur periodically or constantly depending on the severity of the injector clog. To diagnose this, you could perform a fuel injector cleaning or replacement and see if the vibrations disappear. If they do, it's likely that dirty injectors were the cause. If not, the problem might lie elsewhere. Remember, keeping your fuel injectors clean is essential for maintaining a well-running, vibration-free engine. Regular maintenance and use of high-quality fuel can help prevent injector clogs and the engine vibrations that come with them. Another potential cause of engine vibration is engine misfires, error P0303. When the engine misfires, the engine begins to trottle and this can result in vibrations. The root of this problem can often be traced back to the spark plugs. 
If one of them isn't functioning correctly, it will show signs of oily black fouling or soot. The color of the soot on the plugs can also indicate other engine problems, such as caliche ignition, a depleted mixture, or gasoline with additives that increase the octane number. When diagnosing the spark plugs, it's important to note that ignition skips can also occur due to punctured high-voltage wires. You should carefully inspect these wires for any cracks and burns. Broken wires can also be detected by observing a running engine in total darkness. In order to rectify this, it's recommended to change both the plugs and the high-voltage wires as a set. Engine misfires, if left untreated, can lead to serious engine damage and increased vibrations. Remember, regular maintenance can help prevent such issues and keep your engine running smoothly. Moving forward, let's delve into another cause of engine vibration, cylinder pressure imbalance. The compression in your engine cylinders plays a vital role in maintaining the engine's smooth operation. However, if there's a variation in compression between the cylinders, it can lead to engine vibrations. To detect this issue, a tool known as a compressometer is used to measure compression. If the pressure in any of the cylinders is behind the others by a couple or three units, it may not be the cause of engine vibration at idle speed. However, the imbalance usually starts when the compression spread is four to six units or more. If a cylinder is completely broken, the pressure difference can be even more significant. There could be various reasons for low compression. These include worn piston rings, scoring on the cylinders, and burnt valves. Each of these issues can deteriorate the compression in your engine cylinders, leading to an uneven running engine and causing vibrations. The best way to tackle this issue is by getting regular engine checkups. This will help in early detection of any compression imbalances and in turn, prevent your engine from unnecessary vibrations. Remember, a well-maintained engine not only runs smoothly, but also extends the life of your vehicle. Continuing our investigation into the causes of engine vibration, let's turn our attention to the mass airflow sensor. This component monitors the volume of air passing through the intake tract, contributing significantly to the creation of the fuel air mixture. The signals from this sensor are fed into the electronic control unit, which adjusts fuel injection through the injectors based on this data. Most often, the mass airflow sensor starts to malfunction due to contamination. To check the sensor, it must be carefully removed from the intake tract. Upon examination, you'll find something similar to an ordinary resistor or a special plate of refractory metal. Dirt on the sensor can hinder its functionality, so if you spot any, it should be cleaned with a carburetor cleaner and thoroughly dried. To ensure the sensor is working correctly, you can measure the resistance of the sensor with a multimeter. The resistance should change smoothly if you blow on the sensor with a jet of compressed air. Remember, a malfunctioning mass airflow sensor can lead to an imbalance in the fuel-air mixture, causing the engine to run unevenly and result in vibrations. Regular checks and cleaning of the sensor can help maintain its functionality and keep your engine running smoothly. Moving on from the mass airflow sensor, let's delve into another potential cause of engine vibration the drive belt, and the devices it operates. This belt, which powers components like the alternator and water pump, can be a significant source of vibration if it's damaged or improperly tensioned. To assess this, you should refer to your engine's manual or consult with a specialist to check the tension of the belt. However, the belt isn't the only potential culprit here. The devices driven by this belt, such as the water pump or air conditioner, can also cause vibrations if they're malfunctioning. Before bringing in a specialist, you can try to pinpoint the source of the vibration yourself. Listen closely to your engine while it's running. A distinct rhythmic whirring or humming can often point you in the right direction. You can also check for any play or backlash on the pulleys of these devices. A shaky or wobbly pulley can often be the root cause of your engine vibration. Identifying and addressing these issues early on can save you from more significant costly repairs down the road. Following the drive belt and its driven devices, another factor that might be causing your engine to vibrate could be bad motor mounts. The engine is attached to the car body at multiple points, and these fasteners can sometimes loosen spontaneously during operation. A loose engine mount can lead to significant vibrations throughout the vehicle as the engine jostles around. 
To rule out this cause, you should inspect all the mounting points and check for proper tightening. Remember, on some cars it's impossible to see all fasteners from the hood side. You may need to access them from below on an inspection pit or overpass. Always refer to the manual for your car to find out exactly where the engine is attached to the body. Taking the time to do this can help you pinpoint the source of your engine vibration and address it before it becomes a more serious issue. As we delve deeper into the causes of engine vibration, our ninth cause comes into focus, worn engine mounts. Even a perfectly balanced engine can be a source of vibrations. To prevent these vibrations from being transmitted to the metal body of the car, manufacturers use rubber or rubber metal shock absorbers at the mounting points. However, over time, due to moisture and temperature differences, these shock absorbers can wear out. They lose elasticity, crack, or collapse completely. If your inspection reveals bad supports, their replacement will help to remove engine vibrations. Remember, it's not always about tightening the mounts, but also about maintaining their integrity. Replacing worn-out engine mounts can significantly reduce engine vibrations, making your ride smoother and more comfortable. Having looked at worn engine mounts, let's delve into our 10th cause of engine vibrations, mechanical wear and tear inside the motor. An internal combustion engine is a finely tuned and balanced mechanism. The design features compensate for the masses and kinetic energies of the moving parts. For instance, to prevent engine vibrations due to the pistons, their movement from the extreme upper piston position to the extreme lower one is organized in pairs. The crankshafts have compensating weights, and this part is meticulously balanced on special equipment during manufacture. However, anything from worn connecting rod liners to worn timing parts can cause vibrations. Unfortunately, without disassembling the engine, such defects are usually impossible to detect. This highlights the importance of regular maintenance and inspections to ensure your engine runs smoothly and to avoid unnecessary vibrations. So, We've covered a lot of ground today, let's quickly recap. Engine vibrations can be a normal phenomenon due to the rotation of parts and translational movement in the engine's design. However, excessive vibrations could indicate potential issues with the powertrain. We've explored 10 possible causes of engine vibration. The first was an idle valve malfunction where the engine's minimum revolutions are not maintained, resulting in perceivable vibrations. Other causes include the engine's configuration, the number of cylinders, and even the type of fuel used. It's essential to address these issues promptly to prevent further damage and more costly repairs down the line. Engine vibrations are not just an annoyance, they can be a symptom of more significant underlying problems. Remember, understanding why your engine is vibrating is the first step to solving the problem. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.